Garth Brooks is one of the preeminent country musicians of all time. Best known for chart-topping hits like The Dance, Friends in Low Places, and Unanswered Prayers, his versatility and showmanship have set him apart. But his illustrious career hasn't been without controversies. In this video, we're taking a look at what some are calling a misstep, what others are calling a heroic stance. Join Faxverse as we talk about a move Garth Brooks made that may alienate him from some of his fans. Garth Brooks's Illustrious Career Brooks's musical journey really took off in 1989 with his eponymous debut album. That groundbreaking record quickly climbed the Billboard country music charts, laying the foundation for his thriving career. His unique infusion of rock and roll elements into the country genre introduced a fresh sound that clearly broadened the audience for country music. His 1990 album No Fences remains his best-selling record, featuring the hit singles Friends in Low Places and The Thunder Rolls. The album cemented his status as a superstar in the country music industry. He followed up this success with several more popular albums throughout the 90s, including Rope in the Wind, The Chase, and Sevens. Each record further showcased his gift for storytelling and his wide-ranging musical style. He made headlines when he temporarily retired in 2001, aiming to focus on his family. But he couldn't stay away long. He returned to performing in 2005 with a residency at the Encore Las Vegas and stepped back into the industry fully in 2014 with a new album Man Against Machine, followed by a world tour. Over his career, he's received numerous accolades, including multiple Grammy Awards and a record-setting seven CMA Entertainer of the Year awards. He's one of the best-selling solo artists of all time in the U.S., with over 170 million records sold. In 2020, he received the Library of Congress Gershwin Prize for popular song, further cementing his legacy. As of 2023, he continues to make his mark on the music industry, both through his music as well as, as you'll soon see, his commitment to fighting for social causes he believes in. The Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light Controversy Dylan Mulvaney, an American TikTok personality, activist, and entertainer, gained significant recognition through the popular Days of Girlhood series on TikTok. This series documents the gender transition process that Mulvaney began going through beginning in March of 2022. As the series gained traction and went viral on the platform, Mulvaney's following saw a swift surge. But this visibility led to significant criticism and controversy amongst American conservatives from October of 2022. That month, Mulvaney collaborated with David Lopez, a gender-fluid hairstylist, on a podcast for Ulta Beauty. This incident sparked calls from conservatives for a boycott against the beauty store chain. Later that month, a viral interview conducted by Mulvaney with President Joe Biden for the left-leaning Now This News attracted greater scrutiny from the American right. High-profile Republicans and right-wing personalities, including Marsha Blackburn, Caitlyn Jenner, and Marjorie Taylor Greene, subsequently vocalized their criticism of Mulvaney. The scrutiny turned into a more pronounced controversy in April of 2023 when Anheuser-Busch enlisted Mulvaney for a sponsorship deal, but the campaign backfired as it sparked a wave of conservative backlash. Kid Rock was among those who instigated a boycott against Bud Light and Anheuser-Busch in response to Mulvaney's promotion of the brand during March Madness. The impact of the boycott was severe. Bud Light's sales dropped between 11 and 26 percent, while sales for Anheuser-Busch dipped by about 1 percent. By May 2023, the situation had worsened. AB InBev stocks plummeted 20 percent, leading Forbes to categorize them as a bear stock, while HSBC downgraded AB InBev stock to a hold. CNBC estimated a further drop in their sales by 18 percent in May. Brooks refuses to boycott. Country music stars are sometimes reluctant to voice political views, particularly when those views might clash with right-wing causes. High-profile cases like The Chicks, formerly The Dixie Chicks, and Taylor Swift underscore the potential backlash that country stars face when their opinions diverge from those of their conservative majority fan bases. The Chicks faced intense backlash, including death threats, after lead singer Natalie Maines critiqued former President George W. Bush. Taylor Swift experienced similar consequences when she openly opposed a Donald Trump-endorsed Senate candidate in her home state of Tennessee. 
These instances have created an implicit expectation for country singers to just, quote, shut up and sing if their views diverge from right-leaning stances. This cautionary landscape, however, didn't deter Kid Rock from expressing his ire over Anheuser-Busch's sponsorship with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney. He made his displeasure known by demolishing multiple cases of Bud Light with a semi-automatic rifle. His extreme demonstration ignited a right-wing backlash targeting companies seen as supporting the LGBTQA community. For example, Target found itself in the crosshairs for its Pride merchandise, while Walmart, which sells similar items, strangely escaped unscathed. In this volatile environment, Garth Brooks has made a bold stand. Despite the potential risks, Brooks, akin to Swift and the Chicks, has chosen to make his voice heard. He expressed a vision of inclusivity for his establishment, Friends in Low Places Bar and Honky Tonk in Nashville. In Brooks's words, he aims for his bar to be the Chick-fil-A of Honky Tonks, a place that emphasizes safety, manners, and mutual respect. Despite Chick-fil-A's own controversies with the LGBTQA community, Brooks affirmed his bar would welcome all brands of beer and, more importantly, all people. He elaborated on this vision during a conversation with Billboard's executive editor Melinda Newman at Billboard Country Live in Nashville, stating, quote, Our thing is this. If you are led into this house, love one another. If you're an a-hole, there are plenty of other places on Lower Broadway. The space acquired by Brooks in 2021 is intended to be a welcoming classic honky-tonk. When questioned about his decision to serve Bud Light, he said that he encourages love and kindness while playing the greatest music in the world in the home of country music. The Backlash His recent decision to keep Bud Light on the menu has sparked significant backlash from some of his fan base. Some have publicly declared they would purge their music libraries of Brooks' music, with statements such as, quote, Patriots, I threw out my Garth Brooks music collection being posted on social media. Threats to discard his records and boycotting his concerts further underscore the severity of the backlash. But it's not a universally shared sentiment among Brooks's fans. Others have expressed their admiration for the singer's stance, appreciating the inclusivity he continues to promote. A segment of his followers have adopted a more neutral perspective, accepting Brooks' decision but acknowledging its potential business implications. One such fan stated on social media, quote, If Garth is serving Bud Light in his bar, that's fine. Garth can do that. Garth may find out that many people aren't going to order it. And at the end of the day, you have to put things in your establishment that people are going to purchase if you're going to run a successful business. So he might find that out. Interestingly, Brooks' commitment to inclusivity and equality isn't entirely surprising considering his family history. His half-sister, Betsy Smittle, was a passionate gay rights activist who performed at numerous gay rights events. The siblings even collaborated on the 1993 album We Shall Be Free, a song dedicated to the fight for civil liberties and equality. Hence, Brooks's decision might also be seen as part of a larger family legacy of advocating for rights and equality. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about Garth's decision to support inclusivity and love and kindness? Let us know in the comments section below.